What's going on guys? So I got to throw this quick nighttime semi windy cloudy video out just making a correction honest mistake on my part. I know a lot of people sometimes believe that I can't make honest mistakes. It's always some type of a cover up or some type of conspiracy. I'm not sure but I feel that this is definitely worth a quick video. So I just recently posted a video, like not too long ago, talking about RV plumbing. I told you that it was based off of a video where I showcased a repair that I did to the shower drain on the Brookstone. Basically, it was cracked and leaking, and I replaced it with a rubber, uh, a rubber elbow. And a lot of folks saw that video footage underneath the RV in that basement area behind the water panel and said, man, you got a lot of rubber hoses there. You gotta get that taken care of. It's a leak waiting to happen. So I admit I am not a plumber. I just can tell you that we haven't had any major water issues or water leaks from any of that stuff back there. So I happened to be on a call today earlier today before that video was posted i actually shot that video this morning and i asked a gentleman who works for an rv manufacturer um, what's the deal with rubber lines braided rubber flexible lines why do they use them why are they back there and he started laughing a little bit and said i can't be a hundred percent sure but i will connect you with our plumbing guy and he gave me that guy's number so he gave me a heads up that I could call the guy today. I called him early this morning and asked him the same question. I said, so what's the deal with flexible rubber lines? And he told me everything that I told you in the last video. But what I did not realize is that I wasn't being told everything. He just told me the answer to my question. Why flexible rubber lines and not pecs all throughout everything? So the answer, of course, he said was because of its ability to move and shift and not break. And that, that's great. But the question I didn't ask because I didn't think of asking because I didn't do the amount of research that I should have done. And I, I deeply apologize for that because this will be the next question I ask. And it's actually going to be something I press for a big change I am going to start pressing RV manufacturers to make is to switch from the PEX style connector to a PEX barb style connector if that's what they're going to be connecting together. I did some research based off of the comments that a lot of you left on that video where Half of you are like, JD didn't do the research he needed to do, which is correct. And half of you are like, well, he's in bed with the RV manufacturing industry and he's just trying to defend poor workmanship, poor materials. That is incorrect. This is truly a lapse on my part. The fact that I didn't dig in and I only addressed what people pointed out in the previous video, uh, why there was rubber pipes back or why there was rubber tubing back there. So this was not any type of an intent to disguise or, or to hide poor use of materials. I I have since watched a lot of videos on this topic, and I truly believe that the industry does need to absolutely move to the correct type of connectors if they're going to be using flexible lines with pecs. And this is an area that I am now super passionate about because I agree with my viewers that this is absolutely something the manufacturer should be doing better and they should be using the right parts to mitigate the chance of failure and leaks in RVs. So thank you to all of you who pointed that out to me. You basically humanized me and made the point that I try to tell people all the time. I'm not perfect. I'm a human just like you guys. I make mistakes. I try to show those mistakes in videos. And sometimes I don't dig in deep enough before I shoot some content and I should have dug in deeper there. Anyways, guys, this is going to be a new topic for me. It's one I'm absolutely going to press the industry to make a change on because if they're not using the right connector, that is something they should be using. So I will, uh, I'll definitely keep you informed on it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, I'd appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll be back to talk to you again real soon with more updates on this too.